Hello everyone, welcome to my talk titled Improving Your Developer's Platform Experience by Applying Google Frameworks and Associated Methods. I am Darren Evans and I work as an application platform specialist at Google Cloud and I'm situated within our EMEA practice team. Developer experience uh, focuses on a developer's feelings and interactions with the tools and processes used to create, test, deploy, and maintain software. So how frictionless and enjoyable is the coding process for the developers? It encompasses the entire life cycle of software creation from the feeling of a developer gets from using a specific coding tool to the efficiency of the deployment process. Prioritizing developer experience is absolutely essential for companies for reasons including talent attraction and retention, efficiency and productivity, software quality and reliability, innovation and customer satisfaction. <clears throat> Metrics are really key to making uh, improvements. So frameworks like Heart and Dora offer quantifiable data whilst friction logs track specific pain points, enabling data-driven decisions to enhance the developer experience. So here we have two product teams, one doing uh, software development and the other platform development. The product development lifecycle looks like this. However, there are some differences between the two. The software developers focusing on writing, testing, and deploying code. The platform engineers are focusing on managing and creating reliable platforms, gathering feedback via frameworks, and iterating this lifecycle. Platform engineering isn't about building a perfect solution once. Instead, continuous improvement fueled by feedback becomes a cyclical process that allows your platform to grow, adapt, and remain a powerful tool for your developers. Okay, so let's focus now on the Heart framework, which was developed by a Googler. Heart goes beyond raw data to measure how users feel and act whilst using your platform, revealing the human story behind the numbers. It's not a data collection tool in itself, but a methodology for selecting the right metrics to target based upon project objectives. It balances quantitative data with qualitative insights. <clears throat> Happiness can be measured by surveys from your developers' platform experience. Uh, let's go through these. So. Um, the next is engagement. How popular are your golden paths? Adoption, how many new users are using your developer platform? Retention, so users who abandon or go dormant. Task success, what are the completion rates from golden paths run from your developer platform? Let's zoom in further with more examples. So happiness, use frequent surveys to collect feedback on satisfaction levels, usability, and specific pain points. You can measure happiness at the task level or at the goal level. Uh, next, for engagement, how frequently is your developer platform used to launch golden paths on a regular cadence, and how long was spent with each task? What golden paths and tools were most popular? <coughs> Adoption, so how many new user registrations do you see? Does this increase after training? Are folks finding this too complex? Is there an organizational barrier like change resistance or lack of a buy-in? Do you see any cultural barriers from a silo mentality or a mindset shift where developers um, think beyond just their immediate work and consider the broader developer experience? and reusability of components or have a fear of losing control where they might perceive an IDP as limiting their autonomy and slowing them down. 
Retention. Have any developers stopped using the platform or become dormant? How often are users completing this user journey? There could be numerous reasons for this, including a poorly designed or implemented IDP, limited flexibility and customization, slow evolution, lack of community support, or a negative perception. And finally, task success. How efficiently and effectively developers can complete common tasks or goals using the tools and services integrated within the platform. Do developers have ease of use, speed, reliability? Are you tracking the errors and investigating them? What do you need to improve the most? <clears throat> okay, let's talk about Dora or DevOps Research and Assessment. Dora is a program led by Google that aims to understand the capabilities that drive software delivery and operations in organizations. For the last nine years, we've produced the State of DevOps report, hearing from over 36,000 professionals worldwide. Uh, you can go to dora.dev to read any of the reports. They are all available online for free. Dora's four key metrics refers to the four main metrics used to measure the performance of software development teams DevOps practices and fits into two buckets, speed and stability. These allow us to measure DevOps KPIs on performance, lead time for change, how long from commit to production, deployment frequency, how often do you release software, change failure rate, what percentages of releases degrade production, uh, and time to restore service. How quickly can you recover from a problem? There are multiple methods to apply DORA. Here are just two of them, which can provide you with quick insights into measuring software delivery performance. We have some open source software available via GitHub repo, which works well with projects that already have deployments. You want to measure your team's software delivery performance. For example, you may want to track the impact of new tooling or more automated test coverage, or you might want to baseline your team's performance. You have a project in GitHub or GitLab and your project already has to have deployments. So some prerequisites. For a quick baseline of your team's software delivery performance using a manual approach, you can also use the Dora DevOps quick check. Let's, uh, let's go through these. So uh, lead time for changes. This is the medium amount of time for a commit to be deployed into production. Deployment frequency is about how frequently that a team successfully releases into production. Um, could be a couple of times a day. Change fail rate is about the number of failures per the number of deployments. So for example, if there are four deployments in a day and one causes a failure, that is a 25% change failure rate. Do take note that this does not, however, include infrastructure or dependency failures. Time to restore services. Uh, so here we measure how quickly a team can restore a service after an incident failure or outage. The time that the incident was created would be the time of the deployment, which included the failure and the resolution would be the deployment of the fix. The data could come from any incident management system used. Okay, let's dive into friction logs. Friction logging wasn't invented at Google. However, it's used a lot here. A friction log is when using a service or tool requires extensive research beforehand. That's a friction. Friction logs aim to provide insights for improving user experience. It's easy to misuse friction logs as bug reports, but they are distinctly different. I'll provide a few examples. Frictions are where it's frustrating to use a service or feature. However, it still works. A bug is where things don't work. So new team members are an excellent resource to log in the friction log because they are using services for the very first time. Experienced developers are better suited to filling out detailed bug reports. Friction log is a tool to capture end-to-end -to -end experience throughout developer journey. 
it's a feedback loop. Uh, if a feedback loop is not in place, then a firm won't use friction logs. Getting this input is essential for platform engineering to work well so that your software platform works well. A friction log to focus on a specific topic is the best approach. A great time to write friction logs is before launching a new feature or when you welcome a new team member or when you're receiving negative feedback and need to understand the context. When things, um, when things are uh, frustrating but actually work, then that's the time to create a friction log. So let's wrap up to summarize. Hart offers a holistic assessment of your developer's experience. Dora metrics track the impact of your changes. Friction logs pinpoint user pain points, guiding feature prioritization beyond bugs for maximum impact. With that, let's wrap up today's talk. I hope that you found this useful and see you around.